side determination now in order to determine the side of the fibula first of all we need to recognize its upper and lower end recognition of upper and lower end of the fibula is quite confusing because upper and lower end look similar the, uh, the one key feature to uh, distinguish between upper and lower end is this lateral malleolus in the lower end which is a projection laterally and downward on the fibula or the lower end of the fibula it is not present on the upper end so we will orient this lateral malleolar part of the fibula in the downward direction and this part in the upper direction so this is the head of the fibula on the upper end and is expanded in all direction and the lower end this is the lower end which which forms a lateral malleolus here the lower end has a lateral malleolus laterally a triangular fossa medially and a malleolar fossa posteriorly this is the malleolar fossa this is the malleolar fossa finding these three key features on the lower end we can and we can determine the side of the fibula the lateral malleolus is always laterally this is the triangular surface on the lower end which is directed medially and this is the malleolar fossa which is directed posteriorly so we will hold this lower end like this so all these features are signifying since the lateral malleolus is on the right side and all these features are signifying that this is the this is the fibula of the right side of the human body